Investigators with the Skokie Police Department said an extensive amount of information from the public led them to these three people that they believe are responsible for shooting and killing that nine-year-old boy. Today, investigators did not elaborate on what they thought the motive for that shooting may have been, but family members say they've been receiving threats for months after they say another one of their family members was shot and killed. Jeremiah Ellis had just turned nine years old, and he was exactly where he wanted to be. He a sweetheart. He a sweetheart. He loves coming over to his nanny's house. He loves for me to cook. Um, he just loved being with us. May 14th, police say the little boy and his brother were watching TV in the grandparents' basement apartment. At 12.08 a.m., Skokie police officers responded to reports of shots fired. Centoria Williams Adams says she'd fallen asleep and immediately dove for her grandsons. I, I grabbed Jeremiah and my, my arm tucked under him and I felt blood from through my, going through my fingers. So what did you do? I started yelling, call the police. Skokie police say Jeremiah Ellis had been shot too many times for his small body to endure. Investigators say they've worked around the clock for nearly two weeks, tracking down evidence leading them to three suspects, including a 16-year-old boy and a woman the family says they know. Learning information yesterday in court with who it was that was charged in the murder of my nephew, it hit our family real hard. All three are being held in jail, charged with the murder of a nine-year-old boy and the attempted murder of Jeremiah Ellis's little brother, who police say was also hit by bullets and is now recovering. Now the close-knit family is just trying to make it through without Jeremiah. Day by day, I'm glad we got Jess. A judge denied bond for all three of those people who've been charged in connection to this shooting. That 16-year-old police say is being charged as an adult.